Ethereal Snake is an animation channel on YouTube that makes use of popular media properties as a vehicle to tell narratives. This is a roundabout way of saying that the channel likes to take your most favoured franchises and hit them with a hard dose of realistic storytelling, or it takes your childhood memories and mixes them with 80s classics. I'm significantly boiling down what this channel manages to do in a rather simplistic way, but to make it even briefer, it subverts expectations. It crosses Thomas the Tank Engine with the Nuremberg Trial and turns him into a Nazi. It takes Winnie the Pooh and puts him inside of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. It's absurdity at its finest with a hard dose of a professionally made narrative that a lot of directors struggle to do with full features nowadays, let alone some YouTube videos. So, enough context about its creator, let's discuss the main focus of the video. A series of videos on the channel that have a consistent narrative. A narrative that seems to take a lot from 80s Vietnam flicks like Platoon, Jacob's Ladder, and most prolifically, the classic, The Deer Hunter. The series of videos I will be discussing, we will aptly name, The Mickey Saga. The Mickey Saga consists of around five videos. I say around five because there are a couple unlisted videos on the channel that don't really mesh with the series' narrative, so I think they were removed so that people don't get confused and mess up the timeline of events in this saga's plot. So, the videos were released in this order. Mickey was here. Detective Mickey, a death in the family. Mickey never came back. Mickey is forced to choose between Goofy and his country. Mickey's descent into madness. But there is a playlist on the channel labelled as Mickey that seems to have the videos in a specific order that has a somewhat consistent order of events. So we'll analyse the videos in the order of the playlist instead of the order of release. This playlist order goes as such. Mickey never came back. Mickey is forced to choose between Goofy and his country. Mickey was here. Detective Mickey, a death in the family. And Mickey's descent into madness. As I was writing this script, it seems that the creator removed Detective Mickey from the playlist, but despite that, I'll still gloss over it. He also made Mickey Was Here the first video on the playlist, but I'll still cover the videos in the order of the original playlist. Before I start the actual breakdown and explanation, I need to state that this is more of a narrative analysis. There will be little focus on the god tier music and dope colour choices, but will instead focus on a consistent timeline of events and try to explain them. And just try to make sense of everything that's here. These videos go over some quite mature topics, so viewer discretion, etc. Also, this goes without saying, but this isn't a replacement for Ethereal Snakes videos. Go and watch them first. Come back here, please. Cool. So, let's get started with Mickey Never Came Back. The opening of the video starts us off with Mickey standing alone in a graveyard, giving a monologue and reflecting on his actions in Vietnam. We then cut to two years prior, when Mickey, Donald and Goofy were in Vietnam. Their objective is for Mickey and Goofy to infiltrate a Viet Cong camp and acquire documents and then exfiltrate to a nearby rendezvous point so that they can be picked up by Donald as an airstrike is called in. As Mickey and Goofy are trying to escape, Goofy reveals that he picked up a dossier that contains evidence that could end the Vietnam War, which in turn leads to Mickey wanting to destroy the dossier due to his allegiance to his country, and the lack of purpose a life without war would bring him, so he then threatens Goofy, saying that if he doesn't give him the dossier, he will shoot. Goofy doesn't give up the files, so Mickey shoots. We then flash back even further, a flashback within a flashback, showing the trio catching a fish, which Mickey proceeds to then crush with a rock. This video is pretty much just a retelling of the previous video's confrontation scene between Goofy and Mickey, but in this video, Mickey and Goofy have their more traditional cartoon voices instead of being apparently voiced by Matthew McConaughey and Christian Bale. This video starts and ends with a film reel transition. This may be important later on, it might not. Besides that, nothing more to say about it, it's literally the same video but different voices, not a lot of narrative significance. Number 3. Mickey Was Here. Mickey Was Here doesn't hold a lot of narrative value, but I have a theory about both this and Detective Mickey towards the end. The things we can gather from this video, however, is that Mickey shot Goofy in the stomach, which is then later confirmed in Mickey's descent into madness. Everything else shown in the video is stuff we already knew. Mickey probably going insane from the guilt of killing Goofy and suffering PTSD. But the way the video is framed suggests that Mickey pulled the trigger. Both this and the Detective Mickey death in the family are kind of off when compared to the others, but I'll discuss why in the conclusion. 
just like Mickey was here, this video is very short, but it just covers plot points that will be further developed in the final video, Mickey's Descent into Madness, as that video has the most meat on its bones in a sense. This video shows us Mickey, post-Vietnam, finding a tape sent to him by, at this point, an unknown captor who has captured Donald and appears to be forcing him to commit suicide. Besides that, it's just Mickey's reaction to the tape, nothing much else happens. Number 5, Mickey's Descent into Madness. Previous videos could be pretty much boiled down into shit posts that make use of the Mickey's gang iconography to tell a short story. However, the final video in the saga recontextualizes the previous videos in a very intriguing way. I know I said it earlier, but watch these videos first. If you don't want to watch all of them, at least watch Mickey Never Came Back and Mickey's Descent into Madness, as both of them are pretty much the only things you need to understand the narrative. Anyway. Mickey's Descent into Madness is the longest video of the saga, clocking in at about almost 20 minutes, and for good reason. It has the most important narrative points and helps these series of shit posts become a more full-fledged, high-budget narrative that looks and feels amazing. Anyway, let's actually discuss the narrative, or I will talk about the use of music and all the macro and micro elements forever. The story, yet again, centers around Mickey, of course, or who appears to be as such, still struggling with his actions in Vietnam. Reliving the event of constantly seeing images of Goofy haunting him constantly. He finds out that someone has robbed the documents he found in Vietnam and kidnapped Donald. Which means, despite killing Goofy so that he could destroy the documents, he still hasn't. Most likely due to his overwhelming guilt. He then finds a note revealing that someone knows what he did to Goofy. Along with the note, a fishing lure, referencing the fishing scene from the end of Mickey Never Came Back. Which causes Mickey to return to the fishing spot only to find a VHS tape in a nearby tree, which the trio had marked when they were kids. On the VHS tape, we see Donald being questioned by an unknown captor, forcing him to uncover the circumstances around Goofy's demise. The next clue given to Mickey is a simple maple leaf that leads Mickey to Goofy's grave, referencing the opening scene of Mickey Never Came Back, which takes place in a cemetery. He finds another tape upon Goofy's grave, the captor this time making Donald understand Goofy's true cause of death. The last clue given to Mickey is a crucifix necklace leading Mickey to an abandoned church in which we will discover the relevance of later. The next tape shows Donald coming to the realization that Mickey is to blame for both the death of Goofy as well as Donald's nephews, and he seemingly kills himself due to the overwhelming guilt of him unknowingly having a part in the murder of Goofy. The captor then approaches Mickey, revealing himself to be Max, Goofy's son, revealing that he had constructed this plot to get Mickey to understand what he had done to him through his murder of Goofy. We then flash back to Mickey having an episode, seeing a mirage of Goofy, haunting him with holes in his hands, not his stomach. As shown in Mickey Was Here and Donald's interrogation, Goofy was shot in the stomach, yet here he has holes in his hands, most likely symbolising stigmata. In a lot of media that inspired this video, e.g. Jacob's Ladder Platoon, like old Vietnam War films, there's always this theme of religion and martyrdom. Anyway, I digress. It seems that the biblical iconography is just highlighting that Goofy died as a martyr, a death caused simply due to his belief that the document should have been released. His ideals clashing with Mickey's, which then, in turn, led to his demise. What happens next is what completely recontextualizes the previous videos in the saga. We see Mickey, reliving some sort of government brainwashing by the CIA. As you can see their logo on the top of this paper, most likely alluding to MKUltra. This makes sense because a lot of Ethereal Snakes videos reference MKUltra or are named after it. The sequence in the video suggests that the use of Mickey, Donald and Goofy in the narrative was due to the CIA's mind control, so that Mickey would forget the events in Vietnam. Despite this, we see Donald then tackle a gun away from the suicidal Mickey. We then see his face morph into what he actually looks like. We then continue the confrontation in the church, showing us Mickey's real face, as well as Max. This story is no longer a shitpost. It's a story of warped patriotism that led to the broken psyche of a man who believed that he had to kill his best friend for the good of his country, leading to his mind being hijacked by the CIA to prevent him from leaking any information. Mickey, or who we thought was Mickey, leaves Max without pulling the trigger as Mickey drives away into the sunset as it fades to black. After the credits, we see the relevance of the church. We see a flashback of the trio before they left to go to war. We see their silhouettes. We see them young and debating what will happen once they return from Vietnam. Then leading to Goofy, aka Sergeant Gabriel Gibson, revealing that he will be a father. The camera then cuts to a mid shot of their actual faces. Yet again, highlighting that this actually wasn't about Mickey, Donald and Goofy, like the other videos suggest. It's about three men 
who have been mentally ruined by the Vietnam War. The series went over some pretty interesting themes, but it went in places I imagine no one expected upon the release of the first couple of videos, becoming more so about the effects of the Vietnam War instead of a Mickey Mouse ship post. I also believe that Ethereal Snake didn't initially intend for the series to head in this direction either. Okay, listen, hear me out. First videos in the series upon release were Mickey was here and Detective Mickey. These videos were a lot shorter and rougher than the other videos in the series. I believe that these two videos were made as a proof of concept and more of a ship post than anything else. This is reinforced by other videos that are unlisted from the channel, such as Mickey Apocalypse and Mickey Mouse Rampage. These videos, well at least Mickey Mouse Rampage, seem to be a sequel to Detective Mickey, but are more outlandish and over the top than the other Mickey videos that have a much more somber tone. So basically I think that Ethereal Snake made these videos, Mickey was here, Detective Mickey and Mickey Mouse Rampage as a series, then over time he wanted to refine his concept and then make it into a more distinctive narrative and have it be less associated with being a ship post. This is reinforced by the fact that Mickey Mouse Rampage is unlisted, as well as the fact that Detective Mickey isn't in the Mickey playlist anymore. Now to give an actual synopsis on this little series and somewhat explain what happens in it as my title suggests that I should. So I'll create a timeline of events so that it's much easier to digest. The timeline starts with Mickey, Donald and Goofy being drafted into the military. As we don't know all of their real names, I will refer to them as such. The group then spends time in Vietnam and seem to be in the same battalion or at least the same group as shown by the fact that they're all on the same missions as well as this picture showing Mickey and Goofy in Vietnam. Mickey and Goofy are then given an objective, acquire some documents found in a Viet Cong camp. They are to get in, get the documents and then call in an airstrike to eliminate the Viet Cong with Donald acting as air support and evac. Goofy finds a dossier within these documents that details the acts of the American government in Vietnam that if exposed could lead to the end of the Vietnam War. Upon Goofy telling Mickey about said dossier, Mickey threatens to kill Goofy if he doesn't hand over the documents. He doesn't hand over the documents and Goofy is shot in the stomach and left to die and his corpse is charred beyond recognition in the oncoming airstrike. Mickey then returns to America with Donald, but at some point around the time of his return, Mickey is put through some sort of mind control program by the CIA most likely something related to MKUltra, but despite this, Mickey still has the dossiers Goofy found in Vietnam and keeps them, not destroying them as he initially intended to do. Mickey attends Goofy's funeral. Mickey then seemingly starts a detective agency and runs it with Donald for some years. We know this due to the fact that Max grew up significantly between the time of Goofy's funeral and him stealing the files. Max kidnaps Donald and tells him the truth about Goofy slash Gabriel Gibson's death making videotapes of the process. Donald commits suicide due to the guilt of having taken part in both the murder of his friend as well as him not being able to save his nephews. Mickey finds said tapes in locations that have significance to the three soldiers. The fishing spot, the cemetery and the church. When arriving at the church, Max confronts Mickey. Max wants Mickey to commit suicide or have Mickey finish what he started by killing him. Mickey doesn't shoot, leaving his gun, the gun that shot Goofy, at the church. Mickey then leaves the church, broken, friendless and alone. We know the final scene before the credits is a flashback and that Donald's death wasn't faked due to the fact that Mickey has his revolver when he tries to commit suicide, the revolver which he left at the church. Just thought I should mention that before someone else might. And that's about it. The series manages to tell an engaging and excellently crafted story in about half an hour, which is really impressive. It's weird to think it all started as a ship post though. It's a story that started as a meme and ended with a poignant message about the Vietnam War. And yeah, that was the Mickey Saga Explained. You're dead. You're dead and I've killed you. So you're not really here, are you? You're just a f apparition, a mirage. So yeah, that's the vid. I know the meme at the end was a bit of a tonal shift, but given the fact that that series is about mind control, murdering your friends, your friends committing suicide, I thought a lighter tone would be kind of nice. Thanks for watching. Click the buttons. If I've missed something out, feel free to let me know. Or if there's anything on YouTube that is creepy or has a hidden meaning behind it that you want me to try and explain, let me know. That being said, toodles my doodles, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.
you have been banned from the Mickey Mouse Club for inappropriate behavior.